This is part 43 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, let's discuss implementing validation on a select list in ASP.NET Core. Let's understand this with an example. Here is what we want to do. Make the department select list required. We want the first option here to be please select. This is not a valid department selection, but it is just a prompt to the user to make a valid department selection. If this is selected and then we submit the form by clicking this create button, we want to display this validation error. The department field is required. Let's see how to implement this. On our create employee form, the options for the department select list are coming from this DEPT enum. To bind this DEPT enum to the department select list on our create employee form, we are using ASP items tag helper and this HTML helper get enum select list. In addition to the options coming from this DEPT enum, we want the first option in our department select list to be this please select. The easiest way to include this in our department select list is by hard coding another option here. Let's set the option value to an empty string and the option text is please select. The model for our create employee form is employee class and our department select list is bound to the department property of the employee class. So let's make this department property in our employee class a required property by including the required attribute. Next, we want to display the required validation error message. For that, let's use ASP validation for tag helper. Let's make a copy of this. Paste it next to our select element and then we want to change the name of the property here to department. With all these changes saved, let's take a look at the browser. Notice when we submit this form with please select selected, we get this error, the value empty string is invalid. Like this other required validation errors, we are not getting the message the department field is required. The error message that we are actually getting here is not the required validation error. Let's prove this by removing the required attribute from the department property of our employee class. First, let's issue a GET request and then resubmit the form with please select selected. Notice we are still getting the same error. The value empty string is invalid. Let's understand why we are getting this error. The data type of department property within our employee class is DEPT enum. And for an enum, by default, the underlying data type is integer. Notice when I hover the mouse over this none option here, the underlying value is an integer which is zero and for HR it is 1, for IT it is 2, so on and so forth. And if we take a look at our create employee form, we have included this hard coded option, please select, and we have set the value of that option as an empty string. So now when we submit our form with please select selected, the value empty string is submitted as the value for the department property. And remember, the department property of our employee class has an implicit underlying type of integer and obviously this empty string value is not a valid value for an integer data type and that's exactly the reason why we are getting this error the value empty string is invalid wait a minute we remove the required attribute from the department property so isn't the department property optional well no the data type for department property is an enum and for an enum, the default underlying data type is integer. Value types such as integer, decimal, float, etc. are inherently required and they don't need the required attribute. If you want to make this department property optional, you have to make its underlying data type nullable. And we do that by including a question mark like this. With this change, our department property is now optional. Let's prove this. First, issue a GET request to refresh the page and then resubmit the form by clicking the CREATE button. Notice, when we submitted this form with this option, please select selected, we didn't get any validation errors on this field. That's because at the moment, department field is optional. Now let's provide valid values for name and email fields. And then submit our form. Notice department is optional and we are able to create a new employee without selecting a department. So the point that I'm trying to get across is if we make a value type such as an integer 
a nullable type by including a question mark like this, then we need the required attribute to make this field a required field. So let's include the required attribute and see the behavior that we get. Let's navigate to our create form and then submit the page. Notice now we get the required validation error as expected. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.